This is a presentation on the implementation of electronic health records. Project management will be used in the implementation process. The purpose of project management is to help health organizations develop a schedule when implementing a project. Project management helps to further organize the project, create timelines, help guide project managers to meet the deadlines, but also serve as a comprehensive approach. In this presentation, the implementation is the electronic health record, which reduces medical errors, increases the quality of care, and allows for processes to occur faster, thus saving time. Since this project is of a larger magnitude, there are high-level tasks that have many subtasks. The completion of, the, of all of these tasks are determined by project management, and this is found to be a length period of 253 days on a 5 days workday per week period. The seven high level tasks include the patient information project, clinical information system, laboratory, pharmacy, radiology, imaging, and lastly nutrition and food services. The next two slides including this one shows the images of the project management with all data computations. It shows us seven high level tasks and sub level tasks respectively. The second column shows a total project duration, while the third and fourth columns show the hypothetical start and finish times of the project. The total duration of each respective level tasks are shown in its respective row below. The final column, which is named the predecessors, shows which tasks need to be completed before the specific task can begin. In this image, the subtasks of the patient information management, clinical information system, and laboratory are shown. As seen for the patient information management, it has a duration of 41 days, while clinical information system has a duration of 119 days, and the laboratory project duration is calculated to be 35 days. As a continuation, this image shows that the pr pharmacy level has a duration of 58 days, Radiology has a duration of 35 days, while both imaging and nutrition and the food services duration times are both 11 days each. However, on the right of the image is the Gantt chart, which shows a visual representation of the project timeline. It represents the electronic health record implementation duration, which is featured by the line. It shows the lines between the task that represents the links and the subtasks which are the arrows and it also has bar links to represent the time duration. In planning a project in this way, many assumptions need to be taken into account. Within subtasks, different parts need to be completed before other processes can start. Also, training sessions can overlap. After using this software, many cons and pros exist. This simple software can help to work the complex schedules, which is a pro. Another pro is it has a capability that provides a visual display for project managers and helps to document and track progress. As for the cons, the complex timeline can be overwhelming as a minor glitch in the system or process can impact the entire project. Hence, it can arise problems in the project implementations. Therefore, in summary, the project manager software is used for implementing projects as it serves as a purpose to organize the project, help create a timeline, and meet deadlines. Hence, it serves as a comprehensive approach when it comes to implementing projects. For this particular project, the total length time of the project is 253 days in implementing the seven high levels that were presented above.